meeting to order at 6.01. Um, are there any revisions to the agenda? Yeah, he just just okay, yeah. cool. Um, any public comments and correspondence? Any executive committee comments? Is there a motion to approve the minutes of May 23rd? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of May 23rd. Is there a second? I'll second it. Okay. Who's holding out? I can see that. <laughs> I, I, I've gotten to know your like tech, your body and facial expressions as your any uh, uh, <laughs> any discussion of the minutes is on page two and three. Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Scott. No. Floor. Hey, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, Hello. <laughs> I didn't see any. So, uh, we're ready for the question. Uh, all those in favor of approving the minutes of May 23rd as drafted, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions? So, that puts us into the discussion agenda. And the first item is planning or building an agenda for the carousel meeting that will happen next Monday. Um, so, do you want me to start? Yeah, I love it. So one of the things that we're really trying to do is have a celebration of the great work that Washington Central has done over the past 44 years. Um, and we're thinking of doing something simple that I've seen, I've participated in the, before, that kind of, um, that I think is simple but powerful at the same time and it gets everyone's voice in the room. So we're gonna hand everyone that comes in, board members, administrators, any public there, Everyone's going to get, uh, we have them out on the counter and bring them in, but they're eight by five color stickies. And people will get three stickies and talk about, and need to, on each sticky, make a great, what was a great accomplishment that happened while you were here? Eight by five? Yeah. That's big. Yeah, but you don't have markers. You're supposed to write it big. Oh, so okay. You don't write it here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. I'll, I'll make sure I say that. You're just helping me right. make right. sure I say that. Right. So right. people leave out the reading. There's, there's going to be some silence in this, and then there's going to be some talking. So it's really important. So everyone writes three of celebrations that happen as you've helped Washington Central. I think I'll just say it just that way. Mm -hmm. Not whether you're a board member or whoever you are. And then you'll get another color, which you'll have two which are, what are your hopes and dreams? Write a hope or dream, or both, of dreams or hopes, on the two other colors. And we're gonna post those in another place in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. And then once they're all posted, everyone reads. And it's literally, I'm gonna ask for quiet and not talking. That's gonna be really hard, because we naturally as a group like to, but it's really important that it's silent. The, the silence, silence and talking are really important in this exercise to get the tone right. And so you read, and you read what's there. And then, they'll, and then I'll, I'll watch, and I'll pick a couple people who I know they're reading pace to kind of help me for time. And when it looks like most people have read, what I'll ask everyone is to go <coughs> grab two accomplishments that aren't yours, and one hope or dream that's not yours. And literally, we'll stand in a big circle and read these. And we'll read the accomplishments first and the hopes and dreams. And then we'll literally take all those hopes and dreams that have been read and symbolically place them in a place to be given to the Washington Central Unified Union School District Board. And we'll type them up and have those handed off. Mm -hmm. And that will take about 45 to 50 minutes. 45 minutes to 50, almost an hour. It takes a while to do this. Okay. But it's a good way of just a quiet recognition of great work. Yeah. What? Indoor plumbing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, those are the, the, Matthew and I have talked about this a couple times, and it's, it's the plan that I have been thinking about as a way of recognizing and supporting the transition in a way of being symbolic about the work we're doing. That's awesome. Yeah. I like it. Any, any thoughts or anything yeah, else? Right. I really like it. So it's good, yeah. 
Yeah. And I know Chani's been talking about for months actually wanting to find some way of recognizing the work that the boards have done. Um, you know, given that uh, some of them are not going to be operating possibly as as they have been after June 30th. So. Did you say some of them? Some of them. Like all of them. Um, <laughs> there's a stout board except, that you except for the union district board, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah <coughs> this, this seems to fit that purpose or that sentiment um, to some extent. But, um, mm -hmm. so. You know, it might um, just as a, a have you seen the work where everyone gets to read? What? Have you seen it work where everyone gets yeah, to read? Yeah, that's why we're trying to get everyone to read. To read, oh, okay. Everyone, so everyone, everyone, everyone grabbed, like, yeah. Chris, you make three, right? Yeah. And you make two. Yeah. What, after everyone's read for a while, and I also no, no, what I mean is read out loud. Oh, yeah, everyone, that's why we stand in a big yeah. circle. Okay. Everyone, yeah, everyone, 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 everyone's going to, but they're not their own. No, no, it's yeah. you pick, right. you, you just literally cannot pick your own. Right. You have to pick two, and, and the idea is that you give, you want, want everyone to produce one extra, and we can keep all of them, but the, the idea is that the salient, the most salient ones that speak to everyone will get read, mm -hmm. and it's not like, most likely everyone's going to have at least one of theirs read, mm -hmm. and you know that will. It's usually good to have three for each, but it's just I was trying to also compact it a little bit, so that's why I went two for the hopes and dreams and read one. Yep. And then we'll just and I'll say everything that's up here either on the wall or been read will will get recorded mm -hmm. and given to the new board. Okay. But that everyone's voice. That's the whole point of that. And that's the really importance of silence. Yep. And then, okay, now we're going to come together. You're going to do this, and then we. I'll ask for who would like to go first. I'll do this. What we use in restore pride. Who would like to go first? And before you read, which direction would you like to go? And everyone, and then we'll go around the circle and we'll do all the, all the celebrations first, and then the one round of hopes or dreams. Hopes and dreams, whatever. Matthew, may, may I ask? Perhaps you and, and Rick. Because the other three of us are um, continuing. Um, uh, how is the mood on the board? How is the mood? The mood among board members. Is there like a lame duck frame of mind, or is it? Um, um, is it sort of nostalgia? You know, on the thing? Doty board. Do yeah, on the Doty board, right? Uh, we haven't met super recently, to be honest with you. I think beginning of May, that was when we met last. Mm, middle of May, because we had a good old squat hire. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I would say maybe a little bit of that, but not, you know, there's not a lot of like rending of garments and gnashing of teeth. Um, <laughs> but there's so, just a sense of, you know, there's some decisions to be made at some point about, as, a, as every district is considering fund balance and capital mm -hmm. fund and, and uh, you know, some kind of curiosity, I guess, about the unknown, in the yeah. sense that, uh, you know, we're not going to be operating as a group, but I, I guess at least I can only speak for the Doty board, but I don't sense that there's a great deal of, like, um, people checking out. Panic or, no, no, certainly not checking out. Yeah. 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 People are showing up to do that. Yeah, we can say that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we tried to do like a nostalgic celebration and we had cards for everybody and Alicia gave a picture to all the board members and, uh, and you know, some flowers and then we tried to make like a longer statement to send to the board and nobody was, everybody was like, well, that's too, too touchy feeling, you know, like just, <laughs> we're going to keep paying, basically, we're going to keep paying attention, we're not like totally, yeah. you know, like, and that's good. So, yeah. but not, and there's no mood of uh, being sad or, you know, if anything. You know, it was definitely the end of an era for, for yeah. some. And, and they've been checking in yesterday, a couple of them emailed and said, how's it going? Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah. I think as Johnny puts it, endings are important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what she says over mm -hmm. and over again. Yeah. You know, we talked about some kind of historical accounting of, all the things that the Doty boards have accomplished over the years, Worcester being a, you know, a, a plaintiff in the Brigham case, and mm -hmm. stuff Allen had done long before that, and other people had done long before that, and 
we never could figure out when to do it because we talked about doing it at town meeting, but then, you know, when town meeting happened, we didn't really know, well, we still don't know really, but I mean, you know, so we never really sort of had a sense of determined finality. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then when we had the uh, town meeting where we held the, the district budget vote, you know, we thought about doing it then too, but we had a very low <coughs> turnout to that, that meeting, you know, so. Um, and again, unless something's overturned, probably the last one. So, um, yeah, but you know, it is what it is. I don't think we're yeah. suffering with a lack yeah. of I think Alan was pictured in the New York Times magazine oh. around, around the Bridge decision, yeah. I thought. Uh, it might be interesting to look that up. At least that's my memory. Which sometimes is not always out here. <laughs> um, but it, I thought, it, you know, it, it, yeah, he it, it was pictured in the, the yeah. New York Times magazine. Sunday, Sunday, mm -hmm. New York Times mm -hmm. magazine. Talking about the decision. We did talk about yeah, doing something yeah. later to actually yeah. add, because we were trying to, it, it seemed like there were too many balls in the air when mm -hmm. we were trying to do something final for a board and we wanted more community members. And actually, Ruben was the one that mentioned. That maybe could do it later, and I know other places have done it once they've been in the transition mm -hmm. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing on the 17 will be great, and then once we've been operating for a little bit, we can have a celebration, or even when we design our new name or whatever, and a recognition. And I don't know if that would happen at this meeting if there would be. I think you had mentioned inviting other board members that have been. Yeah, and I, we just haven't gotten on top of that. We can yeah. still send out an email. Yeah, and generic. if we can do it now, maybe generic. we can do it later because it, it would be nice to have like a. I thought it was a very finale. thoughtful suggestion yeah. for the exercise. It well timed, and yeah. all the board members will be there, and, and yeah. it's just a good way of marking and sort of reflecting, and then also looking forward and as you say, passing on to the new board yeah. kind of uh, the thinking that at that at that moment. Um, so it seems like a good. good way to go. Um, I guess I, I'm not really sure actually what business we have to conduct at this meeting, if any. So maybe there's not much to. Do we have a hire? You've heard a. No, no, not this meeting. No, I'm sorry, oh, on the oh, 17th. The 17th. Yes. There's no official business as the SU. Okay. There are some official businesses as local boards. Right. Um, we're going to be, we're literally, I mean, as of today, we're almost finished with having debt calculations and what can be left in fund balance and what can be moved to capital fund. Uh, there's a requirement that I'm trying to find out through Scott Cameron. Uh, there's a requirement in the default articles that every local board transfer their property before June 30th to a new board. So um, we're trying to see if that actually has to be done by the board or the default articles just make that happen. Mm -hmm. um, because I anticipate the question being, so we have to do this. Because mm -hmm. it's just the way the questions have been. And so, um, that's a question that's actually going through several attorneys in education right now of whether it has to be done or can just be allowed to be done. Yeah, that's a tricky one because of the, with the court action. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, there's several pieces to that and I expect people to feel that way. Um, I think that court action, I don't know. I'm not yeah. Attorney, yeah. So I'm not going to get into the guessing. So I, I guess I'm a little confused when, because when we we're going to, we sign not sign, but we'll we'll have the draft articles of agreement. It, you already uh, have default. We already have default. Right. So in the in the default, uh, it already says that local boards must do this. It says the word must. Oh, but I see. So you, we, but we haven't yet. actually done by That's getting the articles. <laughs> So it's not done yet. See, so this is the debate that can yeah, happen. Yeah, I'm just, and I, I, I just, this is, no. This is, and I don't want to get into it. Yeah, no, no, no I don't want to get into it. I, I just, I just thought So that if the board really so choose to transfer, mm -hmm. that's why the question is, what if they don't? Mm -hmm. And I will say to the boards, what I'm saying to you, I'm not, I, you should, I don't think you should debate it. I think you should either decide to do it or not do it, do a vote, and move on. Because you'll be there forever on that. And I think people know where people feel about that, and just mm -hmm. let it be, because you're gonna, it's going to either way. It's going to be cleaned up on the other side. Right. There's work on the other side to finish it. Mm -hmm. 
So you're going to, tonight, uh, give a little bit of information about the superintendent transition yep. plan. And I assume that we should also have that on the agenda. That's probably a good one to be at that one, yep. Okay. Um, and then, we will be planning to, maybe as part of that, just a heads up though, uh, to recognize your service and say and do a few things. We'll try to keep it mercifully short for you and realize you're Whatever <laughs> not a spotlight like love love young guy, but uh, but yeah, we uh, definitely feel like we have some things to yeah to say. So um, other than that, that that may be the meeting. Yeah, so, I mean I so. um, you know these like I said there's things in the local carousels, those are the two big ones. Right. And so it's how much of discussion we want that with everyone. And I know, Flora, you and I were talking as we were prepping for the East Mount Collier. You were hoping that there would be more of a discussion across all the boards instead of in the individual boards. So I don't know if you want that to be part of the... Just an initial. Initial yeah. about where okay, people are still landing and you know, let the, the local boards... I mean, you were very clear. Local boards have the authority on this. And so um, that was just one of your asks. Mm -hmm. um, the, and clear on the, which one the... Oh, she was clear about that the responsibility is the local, and yeah. that she would just like to hear some discussion amongst others of where are we planning to land on what we're leaving in fund balances. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Chris, you and I had a little bit of discussion on that too. Mm -hmm. you know, what are the boards doing? So it's some sharing, some information, and thinking. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you do want to do just that, or you want to talk about the property one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to actually deflect the property as mm -hmm. much as I can. I'm just trying to figure. I haven't, Scott hasn't been able to get back to me won't be able to until tomorrow or Thursday on what the ramifications are. And I've asked them to put it in a letter of what the ramifications are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Matthew? Yeah. May I also put in a pitch, uh, if you could sort of advertise the budget forum the next day, Tuesday, because I'm sure that everybody will leave on Monday wanting to come to another meeting so, oh, I see. So at this meeting, you're saying I should make what, sure that people know the details and Scott, put in a plan. What I might suggest is here. that you broaden that we broaden the topic to a unified union school district update, mm -hmm. and in there you can talk about that. Sure. Okay. And, okay, and so I think most people will know, but it's you might there might be other topics after tomorrow night that you want to touch on. Yeah. And so that gives you that opening. Okay. To go to other places. Okay. Thank you. So that can be another thing on our agenda. Yeah. yeah. And maybe we'll put, yeah, we'll try to figure out the order of these. But the, um, and Scott, I assume you and Bill will take the lead on that piece of it, right? The, yeah, well, we usually confer before and after each yeah. meeting. We've been doing that. Okay. And my understanding is that Deborah is unable to attend. She is not. I haven't, I haven't asked her, uh, but I, at least I didn't today. I will confirm that. Let me confirm that. I think no, that's what I told him earlier. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know she's busy. I will extend the invitation either way. Okay. I have a question. When do BSBA dues get paid? Because <clears throat> I, I think, I mean, I, we're not going to really be a board, but I think we need to realistically have a discussion. We're having one tomorrow. Well, I meant, you know, I know that just, you know, what I want to know is when they're actually, will a decision be made? In September, you were saying? September is when they have been paid in the past. So we don't know. They can go longer, is what I said to Scott. Uh, they can't go probably past November or December, but you have some time. Because mm -hmm. I think we have a realistic way look at switching, you know, regions like that after what went on in yeah. the past few years. They were not. They were very partisan in that they were not representing a lot of the board. Yeah. You're welcome to come to I will be there. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay. But I think that I'd just like to see that a strong discussion around that. And yeah. both sides of it, not loaded. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Know. It's not, tomorrow is not, uh, I think, well, well this is, is I don't like the, the, I wish I wish you well. Yeah, we, oh, uh, thank you. Um, all right, so if that's basically the meeting on the 17th, then I think we're good to move to the second item on the discussion agenda, which is um, 
an update from Bill on yep. superintendent transition. So uh, Deborah and I uh, met last week and we kind of laid out a plan. Uh, some of it's happening on site and some of it's happening uh, off site. She and I met last Wednesday um, and planned out that um, with everything that she has to do for Greater Rutland Supervisory Union and I, we need to do here that she came up today for from eight to three and we were doing transition issues. Uh, we're gonna touch base again on Thursday and Friday after she's had time to kind of process some of the things we went through today. We have some shared documents that are going around and then she has access right now into our internal documents that we use for operations around here, whether it be leadership team, website, slash team website, uh, central office. She's in emails now, getting everything into her U32 email. Uh, so we're gonna touch base by phone again, it's either Thursday or Friday, it's in my calendar. And then next Monday, she's up here from eight to 12, and she's gonna sit in on a central office team meeting, which is a weekly administrative mm -hmm. meeting, which is the central office administrators, plus Keith and Meg Martin, which we consider a central office as IT, and Carla um, mm -hmm. as the uh, as the HR person. So uh, she's gonna be part of that. She's then, um, she will be supporting the team that's here on site from July 1 on, even though she won't be here till July 15th. She's willing to do that through multiple modes of communication. She just can't be here. Uh, and I'm, I'm the superintendent of record and the one supporting through June 30th. So folks have, there's been some questions about when I'm finishing up my actual time on site, which is uh, June 17th. That's my last physical day here. Uh, and a couple weeks ago, as people were rushing, I said, guys, I can come in, I can be called. You know, and it's not like I'm going to... Where's the I was thinking of Aruba, actually, Scott. Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. Alaska would be the better place. I'm with you on that one floor. Uh, all those certain possibilities, I would take that very quickly and fast. Um, but uh, now I'm around, and you know, I said, if you need something or you're not sure what to do, I'm the superintendent of records to June 30th. So just as we do with other vacations, <laughs> you've got my cell phone, you know how to get me. Good. So, and Deborah's, you know, we're gonna talk a little bit. There's, um, we have a little bit of issue down around the, the contract. We're trying to work on some of the date issues on the contract. Mm -hmm. They weren't as smooth as they could have been, but we need to ask the secretary for some information. And we try to, we've had a message to him all day he hasn't been able to get back to us, so. On Deborah's contract? Yeah. On the dates? Yeah, I mean, it's, on the dates. I, I made the start date July 15th because I was messing with the contract. Um, and normally, it, Bill would be handling this, but it was I was working weekend. directly with Carla Messier, who's our HR person, mm -hmm. and uh, we're only paying Deborah from July 15th on, but we need a superintendent of record from July 1st. So there's this sort of issue of do we make a technical amendment to the contract to note that she is our superintendent of record from July 1st. Mm -hmm. um, but her contract with Rutland runs through July 14. July 14, so we're trying to figure out sort of well, what well, the, the agency's not happy about having someone be a superintendent to us use at the same time. Well, can uh, either Kelly or Jan put in to be? Mm -hmm. That's a backup plan. It's right a back, it's a backup plan. Yeah. I yes. we've got backups. That sounds preferable to me than uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. <coughs> Matthew and I, I learned it to him when I finally saw the contract, and I was like, "Oh boy, we got a 15-day lag period here, so we got to figure this out." And Deborah's fine for doing what she's doing. She offered it before we even figure out the lag period, mm -hmm. and she said, "I'm well more than willing." Because uh, folks here were like, "You know, there's sometimes you want to, you want the person who's got the title and the responsibility and the statutory authority of making that decision. There's mm -hmm. not many things that will happen, but." There could be, you know. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we'll we'll decide which you know we'll we'll get this figured out in the next couple of days. And I'm gonna stay on it until we get it figured out. If it takes to the thirtieth, we're gonna figure it out. Mm -hmm. So. Did you say your last name was June nineteenth? June seventeenth. Seventeenth. Physically. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Physically, my That's last physical day. No. I have vacation that's due to me. So we get to take off the training wheels for our um, June 18 meeting. 
Yes, you will be, we can, you and I should talk some more, but I have the support ready for the 18th and I, mm -hmm. the presentation's like 75% done as of now. It'll be all done for tomorrow. That's great. Thanks. So uh, you guys will tell us that at and we'll make them. And okay. Lori's gonna support you in those two. Okay, great. Those meetings. Thanks. And you obviously feel like the transition's going on. Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's, if you read anything about it, <clears throat> and, and I don't mean this pejoratively at all, but in executive transitions, whether in public or private organizations, messy. It's, messy. it's messy. Yeah. People, it's messy. People have all sorts of emotions. Yeah. They should. Sorry. That's yeah. right. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's human. And it's, you know, I think people are doing well. And uh, I think the leadership team's in a good place. They, I've seen some growth in the past two weeks, which has been very good, very encouraging. Um, so, I, this office is, I think it helped to have Deborah here, and she did a great job of going around and just kind of sitting with everyone for 15 minutes and just checking in, and mm -hmm. who are you, and this is who I am, and right. I think that meant a lot for her to just, you know, just go do that, good. while she was here today. Good. So. And she had some good, we had time where she and Lori and I were working, we had time where Jen was in. Uh, Kelly would have been in, but she's not feeling well today. Um, so, you know, we're doing that type of thing, too, you know, crossing important things. Good. So did you want us to uh, make a motion on the date thing? So I would, I'm going to give you the authority, if it, you know, can be done, that you, that you can make that technical. Mm -hmm. I had a memo ready to go that's not here right now, and I didn't bring it in here deliberately because I don't... So the motion would be to, 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 to allow the chair, the chair yeah. to sign... Uh, to adjust the date, a, te a technical, start. A technical to the to contract. To the date start. To kind of cover the yeah. Yeah. two weeks. Yeah. The window. <clears throat> Does anybody feel confident in wording such a motion? Yeah. I will make that motion. You know, so I can. At least um, if you know what the motion is. Well, I have. I have. I have. Yeah. Allow the chair to make a technical. Authorize the chair. Uh, authorize the chair to make a technical correction to the interim superintendent contact contract, contract regarding uh, dates. Regarding dates. Like that, yeah. Do you want to call an amendment or to get a correction? Is fine. Yeah. yeah. Whichever is fine. Yeah. Not, yeah. To, not to exceed two weeks. <laughs> no, it's just leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, uh, is there a second to that motion? Yeah, there's a second. Who made it? Sorry. Chris. Scott. I did. Oh, I'm doing Chris. Yeah. Um, any further discussion? Mm -hmm. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? Extensions? So we have two other items on our discussion agenda, uh, which would require executive sessions. So we have some other action items that we should probably dispense with, um, and then we can probably let Lisa and Jerome go um, okay. with the, just the executive session stuff left. So first we have board orders. Yep. There, dear Lisa, did you get to see these for the amount? Um, I'll read it to you. Yeah. It's two hundred three thousand. Eight hundred forty-eight and thirty-nine cents. So we'll move yeah. those. I will move that the board right now. Last second. Okay. Any discussion? Questions? Yeah. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Closed. Extensions. And then we have uh, three point two. On page four, we have a new hire. Yeah, this is John Boyd. He's coming to us. Um, he's currently in Portland, Oregon, I believe. I think Seattle. Seattle. Se Seattle. Think thank so. you. Yeah. Seattle. No, it's Seattle. You're right. He's in Seattle. Thank you. Um, he has not only been a special educator, but he's right, man, right now, as you see, he's a program manager, which he's... He's managing a transition program, which is a little different than our Zenith program, but somewhat similar. Um, he and his family are looking to move to Vermont, and uh, so this guy, he's very well qualified. I, I talked to him about getting a special ed director's license. Mm -hmm. We'd like to have a few people. We have a couple that have that. 
um, but we also like to have a few more. So um, I had a great conversation over Skype with him, um, and I know that Stephen and Bill and Jody and Maria had a much more in-depth, along with some lesson construction. We had a good chuckle about that. So he, uh, I, just a wonderful, really warm gentleman. I was, it's, sometimes it doesn't come through on Skype, but it did in this. And we got it. Yeah, that is one of the yeah. reasons he's coming back is yeah. because of Goddard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he just has extremely fond memories of Goddard mm -hmm. and wants to get back here. Mm -hmm. Great. Right. Cool. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I can make I'm a sorry. motion to approve the hire. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. <clears throat> okay, uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Do we give you the name? Sorry. We won't avoid boy. Yeah. John. 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 And there is not yeah. a three. Matthew, I'm sorry. Three four is not. Three four is not on nothing. Nothing there. Got it. Nothing on three four. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that leaves us with two point three and two point four. And uh okay. So Thank I guess you. we can make a motion to move into executive session for the, uh, I'll make the motion, to move into executive session for the purposes of, of discussing a personnel issue. Yeah. So that's good. Second, second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.